since week 13. These two quarterbacks, both drafted in the same class, of course, have both been yeah. extraordinary. They both have QBRs over 90, double-digit touchdown passes. Allen's 15 touchdowns are actually tied with Aaron Rodgers for the most in the league over this stretch. But we were having a great conversation this morning in our meeting, and I'd love to bring it here about the strategy. RC, I want you to hear this. Bart, very quickly, run through how you would design the defense against Buffalo this weekend if you were calling it for Baltimore. Listen, I'm coming up in a defensive meeting. I'm saying, listen, we just stopped the best running game in the Bears in this last week. We can stop these guys with a light box. What we're going to do is we're going to take away his favorite weapon in Stephon Diggs. We're not going to do it by putting Marlon Humphreys on him, our best corner. We're going to take him away by putting our second best corner, who's pretty damn good as well, in Peters. But guess what, Peters? We're not going to have you out there being Death Row O'Neal trying to jump everything. We're going to put a safety behind you. We're going to double dig. <laughs> we're, going to put the, we're going to put the heavy lifting. We're going to put the heavy lifting. On, on Humphreys, who's our best corner, to take away their number two guy. We should be able to erase him, and guess what? We've been waiting for you, Jimmy Smith, to try and earn your paycheck. We want you to come over here with this kid with a weak kneecap and dominate him in Beasley in the slot. And guess what? <laughs> Everybody else, we're going to handle this weak run game. And let's see if Josh Allen can, can, can surgically dissect us. And don't get too cute with all these exotic blitzes. Keep eyes on him. And listen, the Ravens are, are the craziest team to worry about because they blitz all the time when they don't have to. They have two elite pass rushers. Let those guys work, earn their money, put that cheese on a taco. What do, you, what do you think, Ryan Clark, putting the cheese on the taco? What do you think, RC? I think it sounds good. And also, we've seen this from teams in the past. Darrell Revis, when he was in New England, was employed many times on the number two wide receiver. And Devin McCourty would be the guy over the top of number one while the second corner was on him. So we've seen this work before. Another thing I would add to this is that Josh Allen struggles against cover two. And I know the Ravens don't major in cover two, but when you have two ball savvy Man. guys like Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters on the outside, give them those opportunities to see, give them those opportunities to bait, break top down on things and make Josh Allen earn those yards. Now. It's easier said than done because if you're used to doing something good, like the Baltimore Ravens is, which is man-to-man, -man, which is blitzing, a lot of times you want to impose your will on offenses. Take your time. Mark Winkin, Mark, sit there and say, you know what? We're going to play the way that beats you. We're going to adjust to what Josh Allen struggles with. And if Wink Martindale can do that, I believe the Baltimore Ravens have a great opportunity to win this game. And then, Nico, let's go to the other side. Right. Over the summer, you, you are Lamar Jackson's biggest fan and supporter, and the beginning of the season obviously didn't go so well. But what has been the difference in these last six weeks where he's been so good, and can he do it again on Saturday night? Look, I, I think it's just keeping it simple. I mean, you have the best athlete in the NFL as your quarterback. So let him, let him do the things that he does best. Let him run around, scramble for first downs. Let him run for touchdowns and make highlights. So I, I just think that you don't need a call sheet. You see all these offensive coordinators with the call sheet, you know, that's twice the size of them. And they're going through all these calls. Literally, just cut your call sheet down, have your best plays ready to go, let your quarterback go out there, have fun, fly around, play power football to where you can run the football and, and kind of create that toughness and just run over the Bills. Because I think the Bills are going to have a hard time stopping the run. Again, the two quarterbacks from the same draft class and Baker Mayfield of that class as well. Three of them on the field this weekend, all in the AFC. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.